Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a Battlefield 4 beta video for you. Today the gameplay is going to be coming from the Xbox 360 version of the beta and not from the PC version. You're going to get to see a lot of teamwork with uh, iElite Baruka 2 here. He's going to be my engineer in the AH6 Little Bird for the majority of the game. And the cool thing is he's actually going to get a lot of rocket launcher kills, about six, seven, maybe eight of them over the course of this gameplay. And he was recording, but unfortunately his file got corrupted, so you're not going to be able to get to see his sick rocket kills. But this is going to be a somewhat opinionated video. Uh, let's put our adult hats on and try not to get offended too much. And do bear in mind that this is just my opinion and those of you on my channel know me and my biases and that sort of thing. But I wanted to talk about console battlefield and PC versus console, uh, especially when it comes to Battlefield 4. We're going to be talking about the technical specifications and uh, how the game performs and the player base. And the first thing I want to get right off the bat is that I cannot lie and pretend that the beta is not really rough and legitimately kind of, oh, there goes that rocket kill kind of ugly looking on console. It's a rough beta on console. Just looking at it, there's no HD texture pack, like the kind that would normally come with Battlefield 3 like it did on console, and it actually seems to be missing quite a few textures. Knowing what I know about the development of the game and the progress and that sort of thing, I'm going to wager that Battlefield 4 beta on console is going to be just like last time where console got alpha and PC got the true beta because PC is not quite as buggy and considerably prettier than this, though I am playing it on the Xbox 360. Uh, that's some of the technical stuff. I'm not trying to hate on it or poop on it or anything, but it's just not as pretty as the PC version. It still plays the same, though, but what I wanted to do is talk about the player base of console player players and PC players, because I play with both of them, and we're going to start with a few, let's say, myths on console versus PC, some things that are untrue, and then we're going to move into saying some things that are very, very true. Number one is that the, you know, the PC elitist or the PC players, they generally believe that console players are dumb, or more specifically, they would like to say that console players are dumber than PC players, and I would like to be the first to tell you that this is absolutely not true. There are definitely differences in the player base that we're going to talk about later, but I see the same stupid tactics on PC that I see on console. I see people trying the same things. I see people AFK. I see people playing with buttons and blowing themselves up and being bad teammates and falling off the map and not knowing how to parachute and bad strategies and not playing the objectives and all these sort of things. I see both of these on PC and console in approximately equal amounts. I will admit there's a little bit more AFK on console, but I was playing at like 4 in the morning, so I think some people were falling asleep. Speaking of playing the objective, uh, me and Baruka are going to dominate this B flag here in the middle at C on PC, and we're going to kill a ton of people. We're just going to slaughter people and hold this flag, but that's not going to win the game for us. That's kind of what I've learned about this flag on the building. It's a distraction flag. Uh, holding this doesn't guarantee you the win. Matter of fact, if you focus all your efforts on holding this flag, you're probably going to lose just like we are, even though I get almost 15k score. But And I do see similar amounts of really smart people on PC and really smart people on console and people that run in squads and don't. You see it in approximately the same numbers. You really do. The other myth is that all console players are children, that if you get on Xbox, you're going to get your... Uh, your, you know, the, your sexuality question by a 13-year-old. And generally speaking, I'm going to say that's not true. There is definitely a skew in the age demographic on console versus PC. Uh, PC gamers tend to be older, they tend to be slightly wealthier, and they tend to be more hardcore in general. But the age demographic skewing is one to two years at best. On PC, you still have some younger children, like I'm going to call them children, they're not really kids. Uh, they're, you know, in the tween age, the 12 to 14, 15. But you run into more teenagers and young adults on PC. You probably your, your toxic players on PC will be the young teenagers, probably 14, 15, 16. The parents have a good computer. On console, there are more younger players, more in the, you know, 12 to 14, 15 year old range. But it's not radically different. It's not like babies playing. There's still plenty of adults on both, and the age demographic isn't terribly different. Uh, the other myth is that console players don't use teamwork. We talked about this before. I I see it in more or less equal amounts. I see tons and tons of lone wolves on PC and full squads, and I see full squads and lone wolves on console in equal amounts. And But that goes back into the, like, oh, they're too dumb or too lowly to know what teamwork is or how to do it. And that's just not true. You just have different people playing at different times and hopping in and out of random parties. And one that's going to bridge the gap in between true and false here is that console players can't aim. Either they don't know how to aim or they have bad aim. And I'm going to say that's more of a comparative thing because on console you have to aim with a stick and there's usually a sticky aim or an auto aim to make it well possible at all but 
Aiming with a stick is much, much e harder than aiming with a mouse. Aiming with a mouse is very, very easy. That's my preferred input method. Honestly, if I could play mouse and keyboard, I'd probably do that for most uh, console games. And I know you're going to tell me there's emulators out there, but they have a tendency to add some lag into my system or not work quite right, so I don't normally use them or I don't play with them very much. They're just... Ah, way too much trouble, but the mouse and keyboard does give you a better input for aiming. So on PC, I'm definitely going to tell you that PC players aim better, and how this affects the gameplay is not that console players can't hit you, but that when you have to readjust your sights with the, uh, with the thumbsticks, it's much harder than the mouse. You can just move to the head and click. So when you're playing console, what you'll see is in a firefight, people will be able to run and duck and juke and jive and move in and out of cover faster. They'll do their run, juck, dup, they'll, they'll do all their, their fancy moves, and they'll take shots, but they'll usually manage to squeak on by around the corner and heal up and do their thing. You see this in Call of Duty too. However, on PC, since the aiming skill cap is higher, people don't have a tendency to run out and try and dodge bullets, and those that do generally don't make it very far because the people, that was a very close pass on the ground. The people that they're playing against are almost always able to pick them off so the gameplay is a little bit different it's both more aggressive and more conservative in a way you can just run in balls deep on PC and mouse aim people but uh, on console you generally find people trying to set up and take cover and do lines of sight better more like a real soldier because they're not like these laser headshot mouse aiming gods like on PC that spin around and shoot you backwards and that kind of leads into another one but that's true about playing this game on PC is that I'm gonna call it the skill cap is higher and by skill again I'm not talking about player intelligence because that's the same I'm talking about the mechanic skill, just having the mouse generally puts them uh, above console players or above others in aiming ability, and that sort of skill cap is higher. How well they throw their grenades, how they bounce around the corner, how good they are with RPGs, uh, the pilots, this sort of thing. Uh, they tend to be a little bit better on PC, so the, the raw skill, and by skill I'm not talking thinking ability, I'm talking like your pure quake, mouse aiming, rocket jumping kind of, that skill cap is definitely higher on PC. The game, it's not like radically higher, it's not like you're going to go in and everybody's going to murder you, but you'll notice it, you'll notice that it's a little bit tougher. And I, the other thing is a lot of PC players like to say, oh, the game is more fun on PC, it's just better on PC, blah, 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 it is. And my experience with Battlefield games in the past, and, uh, well, this one too, is that generally, yeah, I, I prefer the PC versions better. Uh, that's not to say the console versions aren't real versions, or that they're terrible, or you shouldn't play the shit console version, or something like that. More along that I generally enjoy the better graphics, which it has, and I appreciate the slightly tougher skill cap in competition, and I don't play a lot of... PC games really so it's kind of fun for me to it's like my different thing like when I'm done with Call of Duty when I'm done with these other console games I can go on PC and Battlefield is a thing that I do that's different so it's really you know novel for me and kind of fun and the maps are more hectic because you know technically speaking 64 versus 24 players is totally different however I've been talking about this uh, from the perspective of the current generations and I like to talk about the next generation consoles here in a little bit but I kind of wanted to dispel the myth look at them they're shooting those <laughs> they're shooting around all kinds of stuff out of my helicopter. I kind of wanted to dispel the myth that a console Battlefield player is not a legit Battlefield player. They're not a true Battlefielder, you know. If you don't play real Battlefield and you... Oh, that guy almost killed me off his parachute. That's ridiculous. It's the same game. It has the exact same mechanics. Almost the same features and map layout. It's a little bit different. You know, some of the boats and spawns and points are different. But it, it's close enough that the biggest difference you're going to notice is graphically and how people aim because you can aim easier on PC. But I just wanted to just say that console Battlefield players are legit Battlefield players. But that being said, it's still more fun on PC because it's a prettier game with more options. However, this time around, I don't think that's going to be the case all the way. Because the game is coming on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. And those of you that are PC gamers or know much about hardware, you know that the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One still can't compete with, you know, ultra elite gaming machines today. But there hits a point in gaming where graphics only go so far and it's all about the gameplay and not necessarily about the looks. And from what I've seen of the PlayStation 4 gameplay of this game, which was a Tokyo Game Show if I'm not mistaken, the PlayStation 4 is going to look very similar to this game playing on medium or high on PC and not like the Xbox 360 version that you see here. It's going to look very nice. And the Xbox One version, which I haven't seen yet, I'm going to assume to be at least equal to the PlayStation 4. Maybe better if they do something crazy with the cloud servers, but considering that it's not a fully launched product, I wouldn't bet on that. So, you know, the new, the next generation consoles are probably going to be very similar to a PC-like experience minus the aiming, and I think it's going to be really fun there. 
and hopefully maybe battlefielders this time get along and just all enjoy playing the game. I don't know. I'm going to be playing this one and Ghost and uh, Titanfall. I'm going to mix it up this year and play a little bit of everything along with League of Legends, which I'm legitimately addicted to. Some other things I'd like to say is that the domination mode I legitimately do not like. As a Call of Duty player, I kind of thought that I would like it because Call of Duty is still my main game. Like that's that's my thing. I really like Call of Duty. As soon as I'm done with this commentary, I'm going to go play some more COD and then maybe some Battlefield after that I play them both but I, it just basically feels like Battlefield COD or Call of Battlefield or Battlefield of Duty because it just shrinks the map down and people spawn on top of each other and I, I don't like that I think Battlefield should just do what Battlefield does Battlefield does aerial combat Battlefield does long-range engagements and bullet drops and you know really crazy kind of things not this tiny little clustery game I think that where Battlefield really breaks down and the places where Battlefield does not shine and where it becomes a bad game is when people get really close to you. The close range combat just it doesn't have a good solid feel to it like the Call of Duty close range combat. Even long range combat in Call of Duty would come as close in Battlefield, but that's just kind of how it goes. And some other things about the beta on Xbox. It's an ugly beta. We already talked about this. It's pretty rough looking. Uh, when this building collapses, it really looks like it's just one texture. Just one uh, sea of beige and I don't know if that's because it hasn't been programmed fully if it's not done yet or exactly what's going on with it but it's got a long way to go and up oh, there goes the helicopter that's not good are we gonna pull this one out I can't remember if we pull this one out or not and I think that we're getting more of an alpha here I think that the final release version of this game on consoles is going to be much much prettier than what you see with the beta that was my experience last time around I was really disappointed with the Battlefield 3 beta that was pretty awful on console. This one I'm gonna say is better than the Battlefield 3 beta on console so I'm expecting the final version to be quite good. And that's kind of all that I've got to say about this topic. I hope that I haven't offended too many of you too much with the, the preconceived notions and my opinions on how this game is played and all that sort of thing. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. I'm done talking about everything. I'm not going to waste your time blabbing, but I am going to run this gameplay until the end of the interesting helicopter segment. I might just run to the end of the game just because if you want to see us duke it out in the helicopter and all that. Or maybe uh, I think we might actually get shot down soon. I can't remember if this helicopter beats us or what but we do get taken out eventually and we're forced to ground pound which is probably my least favorite thing to do in this game I, I really like the vehicles what are we doing I think this guy's going for the hell yep that was not a good pilot he didn't know what he's doing anyway I'm gonna bounce out if you enjoy the video subscribe and enjoy the rest of the gameplay drifter out
Objective Alpha has been neutralized. Objective Alpha is now under armor. has just been neutralized.
Hold on! I need a ride! 